Okay, we got some awesome clear here. This is the PPG concept line. The 2021's kind of right in the middle. You know, you got 42, it's really fast, and then the 2002 that is really, really slow. Okay, so DCX61, DT860 because it's kind of cold right now. Okay, basically, here's what I do. I'm going to use the three measurement, okay? Now, I don't know if my camera's focusing. The three on the cup, I'm going to take my hardener to the other three. Then with my reducer, I'm going to take it up to the three and just a little bit more. I mean, I don't even know of a percentage, but over-reduce this stuff just a little bit because you notice when you're actually spraying it out, man, it's, it's like so thick. It seems like you got to lay on a a super heavy coat just to get it to, to gloss out and not be dry sprayed and honestly a lot of people have dry spray issues with this clear when they're kind of new to it so first of all I'm gonna go ahead and finish mixing this and I'm trying to get the camera to see it too but I don't know if it's gonna work okay basically though a little bit on spraying this stuff I know that it is difficult. It's not like the Sherwin-Williams Ultra Clear where you can just hose it on nice straight strokes and it glosses out and bam you're done. This stuff is a lot more temperamental. It's amazing clear, it's got a nice build and uh, and it's durable as all hell but man if you don't if you don't practice spraying it out a little bit okay here we go we're gonna go up to the three and then I'm gonna over reduce just a little bit about right there that's good. Now, um, so basically, here's how I do it. Say that we're doing a hood. I'm gonna go in the booth here real quick. <clears throat> uh, we're actually doing this E36 BMW, this nice purple color. Now you can't see it too good. It's packed in here. There's another one in the process. Um, so here's what's going on. See, I've got this hood. The way that I spray this stuff is I'll take maybe, oh, a four foot, you know, four square foot area maybe. And so it'd be like the top third section of that hood. And what you want to do is you go across it really crazy. Nice dust coat, dust it out first, but then go back to the top of your section and gloss it out. And I almost use cross hatching kind of strokes. I, I never, with this kind of clear, I rarely ever try to go straight and slow and and you know basically do it all in one pass because it just doesn't work that well also with this kind of clear the concept clear you want higher pressure on the gun if you feel like your pressure is normally at whatever whatever it is spraying clear it's kind of up there man crank it up for this stuff because it atomizes it out a lot nicer too so basically you take that section I start I kind of dust it out maybe four square feet area and then gloss it with strokes up and down and then move on to your next four six square foot area whatever and dust that out first but you don't want to completely gloss out your first area you want to leave about four or five inches at the bottom that way you can continue your dusting same thing go up grab your gloss you continue glossing all the way down the same way leave another little dry area and continue your dry spray all the way down to the bottom so a hood you can break up into about three sections with this clear and that's just the best way that I found to do it. Um, it lays out pretty nice and it doesn't get runs. You can kind of watch it as it glosses out and boom you're done, leave it alone. So that's uh, hopefully it helps out, you know. This stuff is a pain in the butt to get used to but man it's a nice clear and it seems like it lasts forever. And uh, there, there's been times that, you know, I've sanded it off seven or eight years later and it's still harder than hell to get you know get rid of it so anyway uh, message me if you got any questions thanks for watching